Hello, my name is Arthur and in this video we're going to make it so that our application is in DentAware. So what we want is when we press the enter key that it will end up on the right place. So it will know the indent of the line it just left. So to do that we will make a function to return um, that indent. So in the key press event, I've added in an integer to receive the indent, and we'll put that to work later. So in this function, we'll, um, we're gonna wanna use local iters again so we'll just copy these iters. Um, yeah, we'll just copy this part. So we'll copy that. And we'll write this function way up top. So this will have an integer return value. We'll call it line indent. Let's just paste that in there. Then we'll need some things. Let's get this one here. So we need a mark to be able to get the litter at the cursor position. So we'll just copy and paste that out of here. So we get a mark. Um, We initialize the mark and then we'll initialize the right iter at that mark. So let's see what else will we need. We'll need an integer for line number. We'll make an integer for indent. We'll give it the value of zero. And let's see. Probably the first thing we should do is check if, if the iter we've initialized is both the start and end of a line because then it can just return indent. So if GDK text iter is oh to iter starts line. And right. And if it ends line. So if it both starts and ends the line, it's on an empty line. So it would be on a line like this. And the indent would be zero. So we'll change this to ends line. So if that's the case, we will return indent, which equals zero at this point. Okay, if that's not the case, we need a line number equals um, GDK text iter get line. And we'll get that from the initialized iter, which is at the cursor. GDK, oh, text buffer, get iter at line. So 
So we'll initialize the left iter at the start of the current line number. So book page dot buffer comma and left. I think we put the iter and then line num. So that will initialize the iter. We know it's not at the end of the line, so we can safely get a char temp equals gdk text iter get char. and left. So we'll get the char from the left iter, which is at the start of the line. Okay, so now I think we can go into a while loop. While. So we want to check what the char is. We want to know that it is a space. So if it is a space, while is space, and that's a C type function, we'll do these things. So I think that the first thing that would happen is indent goes up. Um, we move it forward. GDK text iter forward cursor position and left. We check if it ends line. If GDK text editor ends line and left. We will break out of the loop. Otherwise, we'll get the char. Then we should just be able to return indent. So I think that should be everything. Um, Let's look over that. Everything looks okay offhand. So we'll add line indent to our H file. So we'll add that in right here. We'll save that. We'll save this. We'll go into main. Now we want to intercept the enter or return key. So case GDK um, key. Now I'm not sure if key is enter or return. Because we have two enters. One is on the number pad. GDK key keypad enter yeah I'm not sure which is which one I might have them flipped around in which case we'll have to change them so if that's the case um, we want to get a value for indent so we go indent equals line indent and we call the function we just wrote to get an indent number.
the next thing we want to do is GDK text buffer insert at cursor book at index page dot buff comma what we want to insert which is a new line comma minus one for the length then we'll do another while loop so the while loop looks a lot like this one because we're adding in spaces except we'll be doing it while indent so if indent returns zero it's not going to do this and then we want to um, decrease the value of indent then as a last thing we would return true because we've handled what the enter key is supposed to do so about the only thing I see wrong here is formatting so this should be indented and we'll save this and we'll try to compile and see what happens see how many mistakes I made um, 782 okay that's a simple mistake I just forgot my closing bracket there so we'll try again see if we got any more mistakes that looks like a good thing so we'll open up that experimental um, tabs document. It's still filled with tabs. They're still getting converted into spaces. So what we want to see now is when we press enter, it should um, honor the indent. Um, yeah, no matter how much we press it, it will stay on that indent. And if we come here, it should honor that indent and this indent. So that looks like it's working and hopefully it's working well. I'm just moving the cursor and pressing enter really quickly to see if there's any conflicts that I can see and yeah it looks like it's working so that's it for this video I hope that it's helpful and until the next video take care